this is the consistent queen back again with another video i mean as you guys know we are consistent if you're new here thank you for stopping by please don't forget to hit that subscribe button trust me you're gonna love it here and if you're a returning subscriber then thank you so so much for coming back so today is the day of the much anticipated lemur event guys i've been so excited for this event for weeks oh my goodness but yesterday a lot was going on that's also why i didn't really speak into the camera but yeah in terms of the stuff that i got yesterday i'm gonna show you guys when i'm back from the event it's a lot of things guys <laughs> yeah it's a bunch of stuff that i've got so i'm gonna show it to you when i'm back i'm just running so so late now the event started an hour ago and i'm an hour away <laughs> So I'm gonna be two hours late for the event. I'm gonna get there like an hour before it ends, which is very bad. But then you know what, guys? I'm just proud of myself for actually showing up because I was so sick. Guys, I was so sick. Like, yo, well, I think I got food poisoning or something, or I just ate something that wasn't good. Because the whole of last night, I was vomiting. I know that's so TMI, but I was actually vomiting. I woke up like five times. I'm not even exaggerating guys, I literally can't say I woke up like five times just to throw up. I was throwing up until nothing was coming out anymore guys. Like nothing was coming out anymore. And even now I'm so scared to eat. Drinking water just makes my stomach hurt. Everything is just against me right now. But you know what? The devil is a liar. I don't want to go to that event. I want to look beautiful. I'm going to slay and I want to have fun yeah this is just a quick outfit of the day check the full outfit is from zara and then i'm wearing my gucci neck bow with my gucci bag and yeah guys let's go downstairs to the uber now this in itself is a miracle in <laughs> supposed to give and I'm just so happy to be here and we also got this goodie bags as I had shown you guys but I just had to touch base and say hi and I hope that you're enjoying the vloggy vlog vlog so far please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed to you. because I'm not in the mood to unbox these things twice 
So yeah guys, let me just unbox some of the stuff that I got. Um, all of this is stuff that I got recently. <laughs> but I was just not feeling good to unbox it. So I'm gonna unbox it now. Um, okay, the first thing is this that I got from the Lemur events that I was at today. Oh my goodness guys, the brunch was so nice. This is the lifting firming serum. They literally gave us a full bottle guys. And this also helps with like anti-aging and stuff. And I feel like I'm not aging or anything, but it's nice. It's so so nice guys. Oh my goodness. Now let me show you guys all the stuff that I got from Hark. I got this lip gloss by Fenty Beauty. This one has three in a set. And the retail price for this was I think it was it was 1100 for these three and we have this is the gloss bomb heat and then we have um okay all of them are gloss bomb but then this is the heat this is the cream and this is just the fuchsia flakes yeah so these are super super cool guys oh my goodness I'm a lip gloss kind of great, so when I saw this at the store, I literally cannot help myself. I also bought some foundation, so this is the Pro Filter. I am the shade 340, and the retail price of this was... Okay, they still got the price, but I think it's around like 900 or so. And then I also got this eyeshadow palette. It has like, you know all the pinks and stuff and then this was $6.90 this one is so so beautiful it's so so pigmented I actually have it on right now and then I also got this concealer this concealer is about two shades brighter and then this was this was $6.90 and I also got this mini gloss bomb cream um, I'm not too sure how much it was because the price is not sure but I think it was around 400 or so no it should have been Guys, I really can't remember. I'm gonna be lying to you. I really can't remember. And then I also got this baby right here from Huda Beauty. Yeah, okay, let me actually show you guys this one. It is an eyeshadow palette and it's just so so beautiful. It has a bunch of purple shades and orange. It's giving very much color blocking, plus, I mean, it's the season for it, so. Next up, I got some shoes from Steve Madden. So the shoes that I got are actually very similar to shoes that I already have. But then when I saw them, I just liked them. And the thing with me is that like, if I see something and I like it, I just need to buy it because it's going to just stay on my mind. So I just need to buy it and get it over with. So yeah. And then, um, okay, there's no price on the box. But these are the shoes, guys. They're so so pretty. I actually wore them today. As you guys can see, like I was wearing um, you know, kind of gold bra and I was carrying my mini shirt Gucci bag as you guys saw. So this was definitely a moment. My friend did say that these shoes are very, very similar. And I see where she's coming from, but to me, I feel like they were not similar enough for me to not get these shoes. These are the shoes that I already had. So we have a lot of like glitter going on the problem with these ones is that like i feel like the strip glitters are coming out and that's just not giving elegant lady vibes you know and i'm an elegant lady so i take myself very seriously next up is this hamper vibe from gynagard my goodness guys i literally got this this morning Even I don't know what's inside, so we're gonna find out together. They sent this bottle of sparkling wine. It's cute because it is pink, and I really love pink because one of my favorite colors. We also have these morning slippers. We have an eye cover for when you want to take a nap. And then um, I think this is just for like when you're showering or so, and you just you know put it on your head, something cute. To kind of lock your texture here, we have this pink loofah. They also gave me these chocolates by Ferrero Rocher. 
and this is the pH bar intimate cleansing soap super amazing it works so well I also got these two vibes and then this is the lubricant moisturizing gel this, what is this? is this like a wash? okay oh like it's actually for like <laughs> oh it's not a wash guys, it's not a wash and then lastly I got this kind of like grooming set so it has like mini scissors um, it has a nail clipper I'm actually not sure if it's a nail clipper, nail clipper or it's for like obviously your intimate area since I mean it is gonna go and then we also have these shavings for decoration Van of God really went all out and I love them down. And then these are some of the stuff that I got from Zara. Obviously this full outfit that I was wearing, even with the blazer, full outfit from Zara. Um, I got this cute top guys. This top was, this was 540. I can't wait to wear this out. And then, <laughs> guys you know what, they say if it's nice you need to buy it twice. So I bought the same shirt twice. I just felt like it looked so beautiful. And then this was 380. And then we have this denim dress. I actually don't know why I opted for the dress. I wish that I opted for the jumpsuit because the jumpsuit looks so good. And then this was 1000 1080 rand. Yeah. And then I bought <laughs> I don't know what was possessing me to get these joggers, but then these were 900. And as you guys can see from the material, like at night. It's gonna look so pretty. I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear them though because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Kind of regret it, but it's here now, so. And I also got this dress from Zara. So this was the dress that I was going to wear if I didn't find anything else that I liked because I didn't buy the stuff at the same Zara store. So this is the Zara dress from, um, I got this in Zantin. Yeah, I got this in Zantin. And then this dress was, this was 1.2, 1,200. I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna wear it, but I need to make a plan because it's a cute dress, guys, but I just didn't feel like it was gonna be cute for the number yeah. And I also got this neck bow that I am wearing today. I literally got it specifically for the event because I just felt like, you know what? <laughs> I wanna make a little lady. Um, I took out the box guys, but the box is like, it looks cute and small, it's like, it kind of looks like an engagement box kind of thing. And this was, it was 3.4 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was 3.3 actually, it was 3.3. And I don't know guys, I have no business buying all of these things like so sudden. <laughs> but what can I say? I have a shopping problem, have expensive taste. I can't believe I just accidentally showed you guys my edges. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> I got this package from Revolve. Um, I'm actually not gonna open it now. I just feel like I wanna do like a, a Revolve try on haul for YouTube. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm so sorry that I am not trying these toes on. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh my goodness, guys. It's the fact that I'm so sick, but I'm still showing up. Oh my goodness. And I'm actually feeling so much better now because, oh my goodness, guys. Like, when I started this vlog, I felt like I was dying. Like, I was on my deathbed. But now I'm feeling so much better. So, we are headed to the Crocs event. I'm literally still wearing the same shirts that I was wearing to the Lamar event and then I just threw on some jeans and this denim jacket and on my feet I'm just wearing crocs. I should actually, I have like closed toed crocs but they're like very dirty and I just don't feel like wiping them right now. Guys, sometimes like just genuinely saying you don't feel like doing something is, it's a legit excuse. Like sometimes you just don't feel like doing it. Like me right now, I just don't feel like doing anything. But, you know, you need to honor an invitation, especially if you have RSVP'd. So if you RSVP, baby, you need to be there. 
so yeah guys we're just gonna go and then we're gonna pick up my friend at her place and then we wanna go together to the event because at least this event allows plus ones and yeah guys i'm feeling so cute <laughs> i'm feeling so so cute i'm looking cute too yeah so talk to you later but at the same time i want to give you everything that you are and we say it's an open bar baby we give you guys an open bar outside best believe what it is and clubs we're not just leveling up with fashion and with feet but also life Okay guys, before I forget, these are the goodies that I got from Crocs. I'm so tired, so please don't mind my voice. Actually, do you mind my voice? <laughs> mind your own business. I'm joking. <laughs> in such a silly goofy mood right now yeah um i think this is just to keep your gibbets so this is pretty cool guys i took so many gibbets oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my gosh <laughs> this is just to spell my name to spell you know and then the other ones is also just to like in case i feel like you know changing there are my crocs looks or customizing it or whatever and then here it just says um my name so that's pretty cool and then um i'm gonna keep this bag i don't know when i might need it but yeah come as you are guys and it was just such a lovely event i really had so so much fun hey guys welcome to a another day of the vloggity vlog vlog this morning, I just felt like, you know, having a little bit of a chit chat with you guys while doing my morning skincare routine. So starting off, I put on this hydration juice by Skin Functional. I like to put it on with my skin still a little bit damp. I had already put it on now because I took a little bit of time before setting up my camera and everything and I didn't just want my skin to be... You know just chilling there dry and stuff and it's actually like finished now i don't know if you guys can see the bottle is the bottle is empty but this stuff is so so good it doesn't have any fragrance that's actually the thing that kind of like put me off with the neutrogena hydro boost range it's because like i don't know if my skin is becoming more sensitive with age or with sun exposure i don't know what it is but i really cannot handle fragrance skincare like i really can't guys and my skin is very problematic like you guys know my skin is very problematic but i feel like right now i'm at a point where my skin actually cares about my skincare routine but before even putting the hydration juice or before putting anything else i go in with this cleanser by la roche posay this is from the Everclaw range which is perfect for 
acne prone skin problematic skin because it has niacinamide and it also has glycolic acid and guys i just feel like okay i hope you guys can see like how my skin is actually doing right now because my skin is doing so much better and guys i just feel like you know what like skincare brands snap when they actually work with people who have problematic skin like people like me because like it doesn't make sense for you to be promoting like a product for acne prone skin if you've never even struggled with acne you get what i'm trying to say like they should get people who struggle with acne you know people like me so yeah this wash guys i used to use the pure soap but then i substituted it for this baby right here and my skin is really happy with that and guys this is not like my full skincare routine or anything like that this is just like a few products that i used in the morning because i try to keep it really simple like at most maybe i'll use like three products like or maybe four and then that's just it this baby right here is still new i have only used it a few times and guys when i tell you this is like this is the good stuff like oh my goodness look at that yo oh my goodness this is like guys this is the good stuff like yo mm, 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 mm. It feels very luxurious it feels very like you can feel that okay yeah uh, you're using like a premium product like as it feels so nice <laughs> and this is just like for firming and stuff at first I felt like why would I be using something for firming like my skin is not even like loose or anything like that but guys since i started using it i can actually feel the difference because like even though my skin is not sagging or whatever but it's more it was more like a, like it feels more elastic now like it has more of like a bounce and it's more like tight and yeah you see this baby right here guys this baby right here the good stuff and when i put it on i just try to like you know do it like that and also don't forget to put it on your neck and you know the back of your neck and everything because your neck will really show your age if you do your skincare properly and everything and you forget to do your neck your neck will tell on you okay and you don't want that and then as a moisturizer i am using this one by la roche posay again from the Everclar range guys like i literally cannot emphasize enough like how good the Everclar range is for you know acne skin like i'll pick that up but yeah I use that much and it feels very mm, mm, mm. it feels very nice guys and I find that the products I'm currently using now also really work well with the new Lemur serum that I'm using so <laughs> that's good and then your skincare routine is not complete without sunscreen so when it comes to sunscreen i am very picky because like as i said guys i have oily skin so i need to find a sunscreen that will not leave me looking white cast i need to find a sunscreen that will not leave me looking shiny or anything like that because guys <laughs> i don't want to be looking a mess and thing is sunscreen is like it's very important guys it's very important that's i put a little bit because i'm not really leaving the house but i just need to put on sunscreen anyways because you know what it's just good practice because if i don't put it on now even though i'm not leaving the house one day when i am leaving the house i'm gonna forget to put it on so i just need to like you just need to make it a habit to always put on sunscreen so that you never forget because i also noticed like with hyperpigmentation if you struggle with hyperpigmentation like I do sunscreen is very important because if you're gonna go out and you're gonna be like exposed to the sun and stuff and you know like you're not protected your like your marks are gonna get worse so you must just make sure over see sunscreen like you don't care about it the eucerin mount is also good the one that I used to use I used to use eucerin dry touch and then I just got over it why did I get over it there was a time when um when I went to the store, it was not there, it was out of stock, and then I bought something else, and then after that, I just never bought it again. So, yeah, and then I just decided to buy this one by La Roche-Posay because I feel like 
it's kind of like good practice to have like most products in your skincare routine being from like one brand i don't know maybe if i'm just being uh, but then i kind of like that so yeah guys that's basically my morning skincare routine and then i'm just going to be putting on some lip gloss so this is the one by fenty beauty this is just a nude shade um the thing with me is that like even if i'm not going anywhere guys a lip gloss must be on you know my lips must be shiny you know i'm a lady <laughs> i am a lady period so yeah and guys i also just want to emphasize that you know what like when it comes to skincare like it's a journey and it's not even a linear journey like it's like this because i had a point where i had like really bad skin guys like yo i had such bad skin that i was literally even feeling like you know insecure about leaving the house and stuff because my skin was so bad and people would always ask me like oh girl why don't you just wash your face like do I not look like I washed my face? Like, that was just so rude. Like, oh my goodness. And then I also went through a phase where I had, like, really good skin. Like, guys, where my skin was, like, basically perfect. I didn't need a filter. I didn't need makeup. Nothing. And then now my skin is just, it's just there. But the most important thing, especially, like, if your skin is a bit, you know, confidence, guys. You must be confident. Like, you must know that you look beautiful, even if you have... The acne scarring even if you have the blackheads even if you're you have like cystic acne any kind of acne like you must just truly realize how beautiful you are and that will make all the difference and also guys the other thing that's very important also moisturizing i know i mentioned moisturizing while i was putting on my moisturizing stuff but i just feel like i need to mention it again because i remember like when i was like very, i was still young like i was in like high school like grade eight nine because my skin was oily i just felt like you know i, I don't need to moisturize because my skin is already oily and maybe like the moisturizer is what's making my skin worse so i was wrong <laughs> i was wrong but if you told 13 year old you know back in grade eight that girl the moisturizer is not making your skin oily like you need to moisturize your skin like i was not going to believe you because i was like oh my goodness like i was dying to get rid of this oil you know yeah guys moisturize but always make sure that you find a moisturizer that is suitable for your skin so if you have dry skin you must find a moisturizer that is good for dry skin if you have oily skin you need to find a moisturizer that is good for oily skin if you have mixed combination skin you need to find a moisturizer that is good for combination skin but don't cut out on washing your face don't cut out on moisturizing and don't cut out on sunscreen like those are the three most important things the other things like serums da, da 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 you can do without like honestly guys like a serum it's a luxury guys because like not everybody is gonna have like what 600 giant to buy a serum but a wash a moisturizer and a sunscreen that's a must like those are your that's your foundation and then from there onwards you can add whatever you add i was editing today and i realized that you know what this video is like getting very long because when i was editing it got up to 30 minutes and i was trying to like you know cut some parts out and stuff but then it wasn't gonna like make sense if i cut out certain parts so i just figured you know what let me not give you guys a vlog that is too long let me rather end the video off here and then i will start a fresh one a better one probably either sometime this week or next week yeah Today is a Monday by the way, so I still have plenty of time to film and stuff and I already have like a lot of videos that are already like lined up to be posted. So yeah guys, this marks the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Until next time, this is it from the Consistent Queen.